Hello, and welcome to an OraCloud Plus Training as a Service video snippet. Learn to use and configure Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications in minutes, not hours. Hello, and welcome to a quick presentation and talking about how to link transactions to a master contract. So, so typically, we've talked about different types of contracts, so the non-financial or NFCs, the pre-purchase contracts, and then the purchase contracts. And what you will see most often is that the given transaction or agreement or PO is linked to the purchase contract. However, some clients try to minimize the creation of a purchase level contract. They may try to use PO terms and then instead link either the agreement or just a purchase order to a master contract. And so what you're going to see here is I'll go show, I'll go in here and find a master contract and then I want to turn around and link it to a new PO that I create. And so whether you create the PO online or whether you're generating that PO from process requisitions or however, you, you'll still get the ability to see this particular field and link those two. Um, it's a little bit more opaque at this point, Q1 2021 around reporting for this um, connectivity. Um, you can use kind of the search filter, but it's not a great way to do it. So anyway, let's let's jump in and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. You can see that I'm currently logged in as Calvin Roth in the Demo Central environments. Calvin is a procurement manager, so he has the ability. So what we're going to do first is we're going to select the contract management offering. And these are the different apps or functional work areas. So you have setup in terms library or contracts from an execution standpoint. OK, so let's go ahead and try to use this uh, manage contracts here. And so what we'll do is we'll come into manage contracts. And then from here, I want to uh, go ahead and search uh, based on the party name. And really what I'm looking for is probably some kind of master contract, I believe, because I know this one starts with probably US one or something similar. And so I'm going to search here. And so you see here is US one MC for lease supplies. So this is a buy no lines kind of a CPA uh, contract. And so I want to attach this contract to by a purchase order. Okay, and so there's, you, you have to, I don't want to give everything away here, but there's there's about four or five different parameters which say whether your um, contract will be available to be attached. These are uh, mainly around the class of the contract, if you will. So knowing that we want to use US1 MC, what I'm going to do next is I'll go back here to the main page, and now I'm going to go out to procurement. And from there, I want to go and oh. Uh, you can see in the procurement offering, I've got any number of different applications and I want to jump into this application or really what's called a functional work area called purchase orders. From in there, I want to open the task panel and then I want to create a purchase order and really the, I, I'm not going to go through creating all of this purchase order, but if I go ahead and put Lee supplies pre-fill the rest i'm going to create the order you'll see really quickly how i can go and attach this master contract right so if you're looking here in the main or header section there's a field right here for master contract this field allows you to see all of the agreement class uh, contracts for lease supplies which you can see here of which we scroll down there we go us1 mc lee is one of those contracts I can select and I can add that to my purchase order. So that's how you link the purchase order. They've gotten a little bit better in terms of, I think this came out in 20B, somewhere around 20C or 20D from a release perspective. They allowed you to do change orders to add contracts. It was a little bit stringent when it originally came out. They've, they've done a, a good job of kind of opening that up. So it's a little bit more flexible in terms of attaching master contracts, but I still believe you want to do this in the beginning. You don't want to start running transactions and then retroactively go back and try to link it. Um, so anyway, that's how you link a particular master contract to a purchase order. I'm not going to go through creating all of it because I want to show you one last thing. It, it really isn't a lot offered at this moment, meaning read anything from a reporting standpoint. However, if I did want to see all the purchase orders for a given 
master contract. You can see master contract here. What I can do is go into an advanced search. I can go add fields and then try to find my master contract field. Get that added. And then maybe I can say starts with US1. And maybe I want to make sure it's focused on Lee supplies. Then I can do a search. And that, whoopsie, sorry. Let me tab out of there. It should prefill. Hopefully. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Then if I do a search, I'm hoping I'll get three or four of these different entries that are related to this. Yeah, here we go. So these are all related to US1 MC Lee. So you can also, if you had any number of these, you can start to push these out to Excel. If you wanted to do some kind of reporting, you have some additional fields that if you wanted to add, you could. Um, but that's really pretty much the extent, unless you're gonna go into OTBI and start to create some additional queries and save them here on on in this case on contract lines so that's really it for how you link a purchase order to a master contract a little bit about that linking um, where to go find the master contract and then where to go find which po's are linked to which master contracts that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching